Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nicole from Sleek Chic Interiors and today I'm going to be answering a really hotly asked question which is how to lay out a living room with a fireplace and a TV. Now it's very controversial whether a TV should be in a living room, a lot of interior designers hate it but I am a realist and I think when you plan a living room you need to plan function into that and we all like to watch TV and Netflix and Prime and um, so today I'm going to be sharing with you five ways that you can lay out your living room with a fireplace and a TV and it before I get into sharing my top five ways to lay out your, li your living room, I need you to think about how your living room currently looks. You really need to take into consideration where your sofas are, your accent chairs, because wherever your TV is, you don't want to be curving your back. You don't want your TV to be at an awkward angle. It doesn't need to be at sort of an eye, eye level position. You don't want to be craning your neck and you don't want to be like this the whole time. So do take that into consideration before looking at the different ways to lay out your living room. Now, number one, so lots of properties, especially your more period properties like Victorian and Georgian, typically have old cove spaces on either side of a chimney breast. Now for me, an old cove is a dead space. Um, and if you can build into it, it's a really good way to add value to your property, but also increase your storage opportunities. And um, so a really good way is to build into your old, old cove with a cupboard and a set of shelves, and just make sure that you've left enough room to position your TV. Now, this is a really good way because I think in the living room, your, if you do have a fireplace, that is your focal point. Um, and if you have a TV that's um, very obviously over your fireplace, it instantly detracts your attention from your beautiful um, fireplace that you've got in situ. So positioning on an old, old cove is perfect because it's easy to view in your living space and it isn't the first thing you see as you walk into the room. Now, number two, and what we've currently got in our own property, um, we do have two old coves on either side of our chimney breast wall and um, I'm sometimes not a huge fan of symmetry and because we've got a small living room if we were to have old cove spacing on either side it would really make the room feel a lot smaller so whilst we do have shelving in a cabinet on one side we've actually got a tv stand on the other side of the old, old cove wall um, and we've got um, a rattan stand there and we've got our tv based on that and for us it works really well your eyes are still drawn to the main um feature point in the room which is obviously our fireplace um, and it's just a perfect area for us to sort of where our sofa and our accent chair is positioned and um, so yeah there's loads of different um sort of tv stands on the market that you can get just make sure you do get one um that's sort of is at right eye level and it obviously suits your your decor and um, if it is obviously in an old cove like this you might want to choose to get a corner unit um, but what we've done is just angled it because i find if it sits flat your TV is just not in the right position for watching it. Now, number three, if you have a very large living room, you may be able to affix your TV to the wall, not near the fireplace. And if you do have a larger space, it's perfect for affixing it to the wall because it creates that distance between the fireplace. You're not encroaching into the beauty or the focal point of it. And it's sort of, gets it into a different area of your living space. Of course, it is gonna depend on where your sofas and your accent chairs are placed. Um, but what I will say is if you are affixing to the wall, please do go through the process of also hiding your cables because having wires hanging down from the wall just looks really unsightly um, and it's just not gonna give you that desired look that you're looking for. Now, number four is a very controversial option, but it's uh, an option that a lot of people use and that is affixing your TV over the fireplace. Now, personally, it's not something I would ever recommend unless you get a smart glass TV which can look like artwork when it's not in use. Now, I love this method because it gives the illusion of beautiful artwork above your TV as you enter the room. It's a great way just for disguising an ugly TV, yet it brings functional and aesthetics together, and it can be a really, really great way to incorporate into your space without eating into any old cove space. And again, if you do um, affix it above your fireplace, you do need to build in some sort of frame just so you can hide that cabling because it's just not gonna work without you doing this. And lastly, at number five, build a TV media wall. So media walls have become hugely popular over the last couple of years. I see so many people building them through, through Instagram. Um, and if you have a larger space, they can be a really good way to incorporate a fireplace and a TV um, and obviously some storage options on your shelves as well. However, if you have a small living room, please, please don't get a media wall. Um, you do need to build a frame out from the wall. It's gonna eat into that space and it's actually gonna make the living room feel really enclosed, boxed in, and it's not gonna give that desired look of an open and airy living room. 
However, if you do have a larger living room, media walls can be really effective. Um, the fireplace is obviously still creates a focal point. You've got your TV unit and it's a great way to display some of your favorite styling items as well. There is nothing wrong with a TV and I think that is what everyone needs to remember. We are living in these homes, they're not show homes, but there are nice and creative ways that you can still have an aesthetically pleasing living room and enjoy your evenings of binge and Netflix as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video today. If you found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. I've also linked my blog post below, which features loads of different examples of these in situ as well. Um, and if there's any other questions that you have regarding positioning your TV in your living room, please leave me a comment below and I'll come straight back. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.